Thousands of restraining orders may need to be reviewed because of a Supreme Court ruling on the wording of a certain phrase. The change will tighten restrictions, which it's hoped will better protect victims. Aman Abrahimzadeh knows all too well that restraining or prevention orders don't stop all crimes. His mother, Zara Abrahimzadeh, was killed by her estranged husband in front of hundreds of people at the Adelaide Convention Centre in early 2010. At the end of the day, that, that piece of paper, whether if you want to change it or not, um, and whether if it's going to protect you or not, that's a, that's a separate issue. But a recent ruling by the Supreme Court is trying to improve that system. It found the phrase in the vicinity is too vague and orders must now specify a precise distance. These criminals uh, need boundaries and uh, they need to be defined very clearly. Police are reassuring people their orders are still enforceable. The message is also for defendants that uh, the, the order is still valid and that police will still comply and ensure that that order is complied with. They're encouraging anyone who's concerned about their order to speak with them about updating it. A possible stumbling block for those who want to have their order varied is that the court must also hear from the defendant and a magistrate may choose to reassess the entire order. That's uh, exactly what, uh, what we have to go through and uh, I can appreciate that um, it's not an easy thing to do, so I'm not sure whether if everyone is capable of going through that process again. There will be those cases where the protected person will look at the order and think, I'm, I think I'm OK anyway, but I, I think I'm better off just let sleeping dogs lie. All orders issued since October the 2nd do not include the phrase. Alina Ecott, ABC News, Adelaide.